Good morning, America. You already know what today is. And you already know why I'm coming here to talk to you. You clicked on this video. I got my honey water on deck. Look, let's cheer. Cheers. Today's about to be a wild day. To me, they say it's election day. I say it's the end of America day. Because this bitch is going downhill after today. And I'm about to tell you why. No matter which I draw Trump or Biden, bro, it's over. Now, first and foremost, I just want to tell all my people. From today on to probably the end of the year, it's going to be a whole lot of hateful energy in the air. Whole lot of negative vibes in the air. Y'all need to learn how to protect your energy and to not let people influence you in the wrong way. Because a whole lot of people are going to try to influence you and try to make you have that hateful heart just like them. But we're loving vibes over here. We love everyone. Do not get influenced by these demons out here. Because they're about to have a whole lot of low energy souls being abducted by evil entities these next few weeks. Stay up and realize that the matrix is falling. The government is falling. A lot of people may be like, whoa, like that shit's bad. Like, no, we should be celebrating that this bullshit is falling. This shit is ass. But this whole year, they've been keeping everybody on tens, bro. They've been having us worried about something every single month. If you go back and look at the dates, They've been trying to keep you at a low vibration, at that fear state. Can't even get past your root chakra. Come on now, I'm about to preach to y'all right quick. They've been wanting you to stay up and stay active and stay fearful this whole year. Because they know it's coming at the end of the year. I'm going to have to drop another vid about that. It's probably got a whole lot of new subscribers, but... They know it's coming at the end of the year. We know it's coming. Well, people that's really on game and aware... We know what's coming at the end of the year. We ain't worried. We sitting back watching the show. But then again, they got a whole lot of people still worried about this election, this puppet show that's going on, man, that's distracting everybody. But this water's so good. America has truly thrived off conquer and divide. That's where this whole two-party system comes. And you know, the people at the top, I'm not talking about the fucking president and the fucking rich ass people. I'm talking about the people that create the money, the people that tell these people what to do, the people that run y'all news stations and shit and tell the world what to do. To create this two party system to keep everybody divided and to keep everybody against each other because if they don't have that, bro, more people will just wake up to the truth. So they got to conquer and divide. And it's gotten so serious right now that I've seen it. You've seen it yourself, bro. People have straight up cut off family members because of this election. I ain't even going to stunt, bro. Trump be wildin'. But still, this shit has gotten so serious to where I already said no matter who wins, it's going to be anarchy because both sides are fucking sore losers right now. It's like... Both sides are going to be wilding out, no matter what. Another thing I freaking thought about a couple of days ago is like, why every president election, it's always two sides, like, counter counteracting each other. Like, why is it always that? Like, why can't one of them always agree on something? Like, it's never, it's never, like... <laughs> They never see eye to eye with anything. It's like two polar opposite people. That lets you know how this freaking matrix is ran, son. It's like, it's always two polar opposite people going back and forth about other bullshit. And another thing that people are not, um, think the fat ass elephant in the room is that no fucking president wants to talk about, um, all the kids and the females that's being stolen every freaking day in America. That's one of the biggest things that nobody talks about. And you know, like, I know it's probably Hillary, Hillary Clinton, Barack Obama, all of them up in that little ring. 
you know, Bill Clinton, all of them. Shit, Joe Biden might be in that bitch, too. You never know. And I heard it was like Trump was going to, like, expose him. Why didn't Trump do it at the um, national debate? Because this man is being told what to say. Come on now. I'm about to put y'all on game. So, facts. I think if Trump really wanted to just end Biden, he would have straight up said that shit at the debate or somewhere at a, one of his rallies or something about freaking Biden and these freaking kids, bro. The reason why we don't hear about all these thousands of kids, 100,000 of kids is being missing. It's because these demons, bro, these elites are freaking taking them. The people that run your news stations, the people that's at the top, bro, they take these kids, man. That's true shit. Y'all need to look, look into that, bro. I posted a TikTok video talking about, it was a video of The Rock. Talking about, yeah, I love to eat kids. Like, he was talking to this kid. He was like, he was like, how old are you? Oh, yeah, you're a good age. I, like, I don't like them anywhere below 10. I posted that, and I was like, man, save the kids, bro. They straight up deleted that video. So it's real off cheer with that shit, bro. Save the motherfucking kids, bro. They don't want to talk about that shit because that shit will make the whole matrix crumble so fast. But the truth coming out soon. I see, I see that shit coming out, like, this month. Believe that. And people will ask me, like, bro, why you not vote? Like, this shit is important. This shit is going to predict the fucking future and all this shit. Because this shit is already scripted, bro. I see past this illusion ass world and you don't. That's the two that's the main difference between us and everybody that's voting, bro. You gotta see past that illusion. If everybody saw past the fucking illusion, there wouldn't be nobody in power. We wouldn't need no fucking president. We wouldn't need no fucking government, bro. They keep you freaking locked in. Watching this freaking bullshit ass show, mind controlling your ass, bro. With all these antics and shit, and you follow on, follow along right with the show, bro. I just can't. It makes no sense for me to do that shit when I already know how the fuck it's gonna go down. And I'm gonna let y'all know what my fucking intuition telling me, because I'm gonna just, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all, all right? Trust. So, I know about the whole New World Order shit. I've been knowing about this shit for about. A good four years now and if you don't know covid was just a setup to make everybody get vaccines so a whole lot of y'all won't even make it to 2021 because shit that's coming in december it's gonna lock a lot of a lot of our potentials and shit right hold on let me cut the video off somebody passing y'all can't see the dog but that dog is so cute <laughs> hey yeah, all right, let me get back. I'm not really into the debate shit, president election, all that shit. But I was talking to a few people about both sides and how they feel. Like, I tried to get, like, a clear perspective of what the fuck is going on. Because I like to stay up to date on shit. And I know that the New World Order plan is to have everybody on lockdown, you know, for, like, the rest of the year and probably following up into 2021 if you're still in the Matrix and still up in this little fucking illusion-ass world. Because everybody ain't going to make it. I'm going to keep it G. Everybody not going to see past the illusion. Some people are so deep in that shit that it's over for them. No lie. But yeah, that's their plan. To have everybody on lockdown. To make mandatory vaccines. I don't know when them shit's coming. It's coming soon because they want to have them bitches before this shit happens in December. Before December 21st, they're, they're going to have mandatory vaccines for everyone. I promise you that. I promise you that. But... And, like, I was asking people, like, yeah, bro, like, the whole New World Order plan is to put everybody on lockdown again and all that shit. And they said that, that that's exactly what Biden wants to do. So it's like, I'm sorry to all my Trump supporters, but, hey, it looks, looking like Biden about to get the dub out here for, for all y'all vote blue. Um, I guess y'all can celebrate tonight or some shit, I guess. I don't really call it a celebration because... America's crumbling either way. The Matrix is fucking falling. <laughs> but it's either fucking Biden wins tonight or Trump. <laughs> A whole lot of people saying Trump can win. I really don't see Trump winning because they have so many freaking celebrities and shit endorsing this shit, bro. That's like they really got the odds stacked against my man right now. Like the odds stacked against him. 
I really don't see him coming out this dub. But I do see Trump exposing some shit. He not he not going out. He not just taking the L. Believe that. He's exposing Buku shit before he leaves out that fucking office. And that's when you're going to see shit fucking wilding out. That's when you're going to see fucking civil unrest wars and all that shit. It's coming, it's coming like probably tonight. Trump takes an L tonight or the following weeks. This whole, this whole month is about to be fucking chaotic and wild. And we're going back on lockdown this month. <clears throat> I don't know if y'all been up to date. I don't know where this shit came from. But I read something the other day that said, you, the USA breaks a record for 100K cases in one day. So you think if Biden wins, he's not about to put us back on lockdown? Oh, yeah. Food shortage is coming too, bro. Y'all better stock up on food, bro. This month, a whole lot of people about to be struggling this month if they're not aware, bro. Me and my people in our community, bro, we're sitting back watching the show. I already got Buku food stacked up, bro. I'm not worried. I'm ready to go move out in nature because we got to get out these concrete jungles. These bitches are about to crumble. They're about to fall, son. I'm telling you. But y'all stay out the way. Stay free. Stay safe, man. Stay up, bro. Stay aware. That's the big thing to stay right now. Just stay aware of your surroundings and stay on game of what's going on in life, bro. And do not get that fucking vaccine. There's one thing I can say. Please do not get the fucking vaccine. That's it, bro. Like this video if you love the content. Subscribe to the channel. Have a safe election night if you are participating in it. Because, you know... I have a whole lot of friends that's voting, you know? I don't tell them, I don't tell them shit. Like, hey, do as you please, bro. Live your life. Just stay safe. Because they're going to gonna have a whole lot of hate in the air. Stay safe and don't let anybody influence you the wrong way. They're going to have a whole lot of hate going around. I'm telling you. When the Trump supporter came up to me and started calling me slurs and shit, bro, I'm going to just laugh at him and say, you have a nice day. That's what everybody should do. Do not give that negative energy your power. Don't do it. It will not. It will be better for you to just laugh it off and walk away. And it will be worse if you egg it on. So just don't egg it on, please. Y'all have a nice day. And same thing for Trump supporters. Because I'm not taking those sides, bro. If a Biden supporter come up to you, wilding out, bro. Trump supporters have big heads, but. Please, y'all just put this through y'all in audience, bro. Tell them have a nice day and walk away. All right? <laughs> I'm dropping a whole lot of videos today, bro. Today about to be a good day, man. It's going to be the last peaceful day in America, bro. Y'all stay up, stay focused, balance. Let's get it.